Hi, I'm Garth Fielding. About 25 years ago, I put one of these incredibly cool Kaler bass tremolo systems into this Ibanez bass. Uh, I'd seen a bass player using one and uh, it blew me away. I couldn't believe that a bass player could get that level of expression with the kind of tone of a bass player. Growing up listening to guys like Hendrix and David Gilmour and Brian May, great rock guys that were phenomenal bar users and how it added such an intricate level to their expression. When I found that I could get a bass tremolo system, I really looked into it and I did it. Um, it's taken me years to develop a technique where this is basically uh, a sixth finger, this bar, and it's integrated into my hand techniques. And uh, we'll take a look at some of the different techniques that I use. But first and foremost, this is a, a cast, a solid cast piece of metal. This is a very, very well manufactured bridge as a, as a hardtail. And it really keeps beautiful intonation. It's very weighted. And a nice piece of heavy metal as a bridge adds a tremendous amount to your sustain as a bass player. There's a tremendous amount of tension on your strings, and this just adds a really great balance. It also is spot on with, the, with all of the intonation and action adjustments. Very uh, incremental, uh, beautifully manufactured and machined stuff. Now, one good example is there is no locking nut up here. Most guitar players on, uh, on trem systems uh, modern tram systems have a locking nut so they can go all the way down and come back in tune. Well, this bass does something really cool. Now, I would never normally do this, but you could. Now you're thinking, I'm still in tune, spot on in tune. So, uh, a great bar, keeps my intonation and really brings my level of expression. So let's take a closer look at some of the techniques that I use, uh, where I use it, and how uh, might give you some ideas to put one of these in your bass and to take it to the next level. Let's take a look at that. So there are a lot of different approaches to using the bar here. Um, uh, a lot of it has to do with ergonomics, the shape of your bass, the shape of your hands, and where it's comfortable. Uh, I don't play with a pick, I'm a finger user, um, and I use these three fingers, one, two, and three on my thumb, so it was kind of natural for me to be grabbing with my pinky and with my fourth finger to hold it like this. Most of the time, it's living over here. And on some techniques that I use, it lives in the middle of my palm. Um, one sound you will hear is the bar kind of rolling around in there. I like to keep it very loose. Some players like to keep their bar very tight. They know exactly where it is and they can get to it. Uh, I like quite the opposite. I like it to be kind of relaxed and over there when I'm using it, and then I want to like let, let it go and do other finger techniques. So here, I'm using actually the knuckle. This part is resting right on the knuckle there. Again, beautiful bridge so that the sustain just keeps going on. Now for the slower sections, I'll let it rest very loosely in my palm. And I can add very, very small amounts of it in. Or, for blending, you'll see that my hand really, really comes off. engaging my entire arm there because it really is when you're standing in front of a stack of amps and you have a lot of volume coming off it really feels tremendous to be able to control those low frequencies that moves the whole band you create a whole texture underneath the drum kit and uh, around the rest of the musicians so basically the sky's the limit with the, te the technique, it's really your hands, um, but there's no wrong way to do this, and uh, anything you do kind of embellishes uh, your, your, your technique. Uh, 
So a very, very cool addition to any bass guitar, uh, Kaler bass tremolo system. Uh, adds great mass and opens up your tonal range and your technique palette enormously. Uh, you should definitely go and try one of these out for yourself and uh, it'll change the way you, you treat the bass and, and what you do with it.